Today, we're diving into an exciting project, building a real-time chat application using WebSockets and React. If you're looking to enhance your full-stack development skills, this tutorial is perfect for you. By the end of this video, you'll have a fully functional chat application running locally on your machine. Let's get started. First, let's set up our project directory. Open your terminal and create a new directory called Real-Time Chat. Navigate into this directory and initialize a new Node.js project by running npm init y. This will create package.json file with default settings. Great. Now, let's install the necessary dependencies for our backend. We'll need Express for our server, the WebSocket library for WebSockets, and cores to handle cross-origin requests. Run this command in your terminal to install dependencies. With our dependencies installed, let's create our server. Open your favorite code editor, I'm using Visual Studio Code, and create a file called server.js in the root of your project directory. This file will contain all the code for our backend server. In server.js, we'll start by importing the necessary modules. We need Express for our server, the HTTP module to create an HTTP server, the WebSocket library for WebSockets, and cores to handle cross-origin requests. Next, we'll create an Express application and set up middleware to handle cores. This will allow our front end to communicate with the back end without any cross-origin issues. Now, let's create an HTTP server using the HTTP module and pass our Express app to it. This will allow us to handle both HTTP and WebSocket connections. With our HTTP server set up, we can now create a WebSocket server. We'll pass our HTTP server to the WebSocket server so that it listens on the same port. Great. Now we have our WebSocket server set up. The next step is to handle WebSocket connections. We'll add an event listener for the connection event, which fires whenever a new client connects to our WebSocket server. Inside the connection event handler, we'll log a message to the console whenever a new client connects. This will help us debug and see when clients are connecting to our server. Now let's handle incoming messages from clients. We'll add an event listener for the message event, which fires whenever a client sends a message to the server. Inside the message event handler, we'll log the received message to the console. This will help us see the messages being sent by clients. To broadcast the message to all connected clients, we'll iterate over all the clients connected to our WebSocket server and send the message to each client that is in the open state. Finally, let's handle the close event, which fires whenever a client disconnects from the server. We'll log a message to the console whenever a client disconnects. With our WebSocket server set up to handle connections, messages, and disconnections, the last step is to start our server. We'll specify the port on which our server will listen and log a message to the console when the server starts. Save the file and run the server using nodeserver.js in the terminal. You should see a message indicating that the server is listening on port 5000. And there you have it. Our backend server is now set up and ready to handle real-time communication using WebSockets. Now that our backend is up and running, let's move on to building the front end of our real-time chat application. We'll be using React to create a responsive and interactive chat interface. First, let's create our React application. Open a new terminal window and navigate to your project directory. Run this command to create a new React app. This will create a new directory called client with a basic React setup. Navigate into the client directory and install socket.io client library, which we'll use to handle WebSocket connections in our React app. Open the client directory in your code editor. We'll start by creating a simple chat interface. Open app.js file from src folder and replace its contents with the following code. We'll begin by importing the necessary modules. We need React, useState, and useEffect from the React library. We'll also import our CSS file for styling. Next, let's define our app component. We'll use the useState hook to manage the state of our chat messages and the user input. Here, we're creating three pieces of state. Messages, an array to store the chat messages. Input, a string to store the current input from the user. Socket, a WebSocket instance to handle the WebSocket connection. Now, let's set up our WebSocket connection using the useEffect hook. This hook will run once when the component mounts and clean up when the component unmounts. Inside the useEffect hook, we create a new WebSocket connection to our server at localhost 5000. We set the socket state and add an event listener for the onopend event, 
which logs a message to the console when the connection is established. Next, let's handle incoming messages from the server. We'll add an event listener for the onMessage event, which updates our messages state with the new message. Here, we're ensuring that the message is received as a string and updating our messages state with the new message. We'll also handle the onClose and honor events to log messages to the console when the connection is closed or an error occurs. Finally, we'll clean up the WebSocket connection when the component unmounts by returning a cleanup function from the useEffect hook. Now let's create a function to send messages to the server. We'll call this function sendMessage. In the sendMessage function, we check if the input is not empty and the WebSocket connection is open. If so, we send the input message to the server and clear the input field. Finally, let's render our chat interface. We'll create a chat window to display the messages, an input field for the user to type messages, and a send button to send the messages. In the render method, we're mapping over the messages state to display each message in the chat window. We're also rendering an input field and a send button. The input field is controlled by the input state and we update the input state whenever the user types in the input field. We also handle the enter key press to send the message. The send button calls the send message function when clicked, sending the message to the server. Let's add some basic styling to our chat interface. Open app.css and add the following styles. Save the file and start the React development server by running npm start in the client directory. This will open your chat application in the browser. Open two browser windows or tabs and navigate to localhost 3000 in both. You should be able to send messages from one window and see them appear in real time in the other window. This is the magic of WebSockets. And there you have it. Our front end is now set up and communicating with our backend server in real time. Let's recap what we've done so far. We set up a node.js server with Express and WebSockets to handle real-time communication. We then created a React front end to build our chat interface and connected it to our WebSocket server. There are many ways to enhance this application. You could add user authentication, implement message timestamps, or even add support for multiple chat rooms. The possibilities are endless. Thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and inspiring. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coding tutorials. Happy coding! and see you in the next video.